If you talk to people who have spent time in the green chili industry, they may tell you that nothing will ever compare to a human harvesting the crop. Israeli inventor Elad Edgar is out to change their minds. His company has developed a mechanized way to harvest green chilies. Edgar has been developing mechanized harvesters for over 25 years. He says that already red chili is harvested mechanically, but green, well, that's a different story. The challenge is on the green chili to harvest gently and close to the ground and not pull the plant from the ground. Edgar says that it is important to work with the growers on their irrigation techniques so that the plants won't be easily pulled out of the ground. So this is the first challenge. Uh, the second challenge, it's how to do it fast on the, on the destemming. The chili industry in New Mexico has seen better days. According to the New Mexico Chili Association, 34,500 acres were harvested in 1992, and only 9,600 were harvested in 2012. At NMSU's Agricultural Science Center at Los Lunas, researchers navigate and follow one of Edgar's chili harvesting machines named Moses 1010. As it plucks green chilies from plants, loads them on a conveyor belt, where it falls into buckets to be sorted. Stephanie Walker, the extension vegetable specialist at NMSU, shares her team's observations. Uh, the varieties that have a lot of basal branches, those are very low-lying lateral branches below where you get the main fruit set starting on a plant. If we have a lot of basal branches in the plant, the picking mechanisms are catching the basal branches and uprooting those plants. So while we're out here, we made the decision to start uh, uh, keeping a tally of that as well. And this certainly does show that uh, what we already had in mind for breeding, for improved mechanical harvest efficiency on green chili, was less, less or no basal branches. And that's certainly proving to be correct today. Walker says that nothing may ever be to human harvesting green chili, but she says there are some opportunities for mechanized harvesting. It's just a huge loss to that grower if he can't get the fruit out of the field somehow. Another possibility is second pick uh, green chili. You know, let hand crews go through to get that first, uh, first pick, and then when the plants regenerate the second pick, I think this machine would be optimum for doing a, a second pick on green chili plants. Walker says that the state already has a quality reputation when it comes to green chili. And if growers can adapt to change, then the industry could see a comeback. So if we can get over that issue about having a method to get the crop harvested when it needs to be harvested, I think we can definitely bring acreage back to New Mexico that has been lost in recent years. Elad Edgar is still working to improve his harvesting machine. He says so far very few chili growers are willing to show cooperation as far as the testing goes due to fear of losing labor. When we last left Edgar, he was moving his harvester to Arizona, where he says farmers are facing even tougher labor shortages than in New Mexico. For KRWG, I'm Anthony Moreno.